Hello, dietary pros. Um, we're gonna go over your machine. This is where your machine goes. Um, you're gonna set it up right here. You have your lift, uh, your vibration, your index cylinders. We're gonna go through all this um, as far as the uh, program goes. So let's go through your motors real quick. You have your motors. Your fill motor is on. You can hear that turn on. Conveyor motor's on. I'm gonna leave this stuff on, why not? Uh, just to kind of walk through that. I know it's a little loud, but um, your conveyor's on. Your vibration's on. Um, let's get in the manual run. So right now, we can jog the auger. You can hear that jogging? Yep. You can agitate it. That means your blade is turning. See that blade right there? Now we're continuous. See that blade? That's continuous mode right there. Look at that. I'm gonna turn that off. Um, you can mess with your lift. See this? I'm just touching that, I'm touching it once, and then touching it again. This is for setting up your containers, you know? How, are they going upright? Are they doing the right thing? If not, you're gonna play with these little buttons down here. Um, these are your air buttons right here. There's three of them. One, two, three. See that one down there? And then here's your, here's your uh, little diagram of how the airflow goes. So how do you want this to lift up? You want to go fast, slower. Um, do you want to hold a little bit longer? And you have your vibration. Hear that vibration? That's right there. You can play with that a little bit. Your index cylinders are really important for manual mode because you can set your containers up. You know, you're going to move these things in and out uh, on, on, the, on the guide rails. Um, and you're going to set them up with a the manual index and you have head one and head two. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit return. And we're gonna hit motors. We're gonna hit off now. All, right, so all these things are off, so you can hear me now. All right. And then um, we're gonna go into setup mode. The setup mode, your start fill delay is how long it takes your container to get from here into here at the start of a run. Um, so you're gonna want some delay in there, obviously. So once the photo is made, um, you know, let's just put that in there. It's 0.75. Why not? Lift hold is how long you want that lift to stay up and in position. That's a timing uh, mechanism as well. Your agitation shut off is your blade if you have it in continuous mode and they walk away from the machine. How long do you want the agitation blade to stay on if it's not in actual running? So one minute's good, good suggestion for that. That way you're not gonna pack the product and break an auger. Increment and decrement amount, that is your you're more or less during the run. So if you're getting more product than you want or less product than you want, you can set this on how much you want it to change as you're in automatic. Right now it's one tenth of a turn. It can be a quarter turn or whatever you want it to be. Low level delay is your level control. You're gonna tie that into your pre-feed system. That's a timer as well. So once it initiates, how long until it initiates again. We're going to return. And now we're gonna go into edit recipe. Recipe is really important. Recipe one, you can change that by next or previous. If you tap the recipe right here, you can name it whatever you want. Um, turns is most likely what you're gonna run. We have it in time because we don't have your filler, so we're running it in time, but turns is normal. Um, and then turns is how many turns do you want? So turns, we want one turn or how about one, I'm sorry, let's go uh, turns one point two five enter go to two, two, two decimal places for that agitation is normally going to be in with fill delay before fill is how long when the when the container gets to the fill station do you want it to delay before it starts to fill delay after fill is how long do you want it to sit there um, after it fills um, you know if you're running free flow product it might take a half second for it to get in there transfer time is how long it takes to get from the transfer from uh, one uh, index cylinder to the other index cylinder. All these timing things are something you can play with and really start to dial in. Um, and but, but once you have them, you're gonna have it set in a recipe, which is really nice. Vibration, normally you're gonna be with fill instead of continuous. So all this stuff is gonna be pretty normal here. Turns with fill, with fill, and then your delays. You do have a page two up here. And uh, do you wanna vibrate uh, after it, it, it fills? Um, and then a fill timeout is if your uh, auger were to run too long. How long do you want that to run until it, it stops? So say you're in code or we're to fail or something like that. 
you know, you'd want to put in something less than 300 seconds, but this has to be more than your fill time. Basically, if you have like, you know, my fill time out is uh, zero seconds, but uh, I have one second to fill it, it'll, it'll create a fault. So we have it at 300, um, if you can see that again, we have a 300 just to make sure it is high enough. So you want that to be high enough. All right, let's return here. And now we're gonna go into auto run. This is how you would run normally. Got head one, head two, we're in test one. You can see it's 1.25 turns. That less or more is what I was talking about. Um, when, you, when you're filling, it can, it can change it. You do have a production counter. The production counter is set for counting basically one head. So if you do have two heads running, you're gonna to wanna to double that production count, okay? Just to keep that in mind. All right, let's go back into the motors and set everything up. Put the motor on, conveyor on, vibration on, return, auto run, and then start. And the photo eyes right here, this has to be made. You can dial that in. Vibration's gone crazy. Now you can hear me talk. All right, so you got the, basically the index cylinder, the index cylinder, uh, indexing. Uh, we're still being made over here with the container. We're going through our cycle, going through our lift. Anyway, so that's pretty much that's pretty much it as far as mid stop. Um, turn. Think if there's anything else let's just go through the machine actually uh anything else you're gonna emergency stop um we have your uh jack right down there i'm gonna just flip, flip around the other side here and you're gonna if you ever if you want to well you're going to raise and lower the the jack you're gonna loosen this up and then raise and lower the jack just like a jack for a car that raises and lowers the um fill head um, you have you, this main power button has to be turned on for it to run. Turn this off to get into the box. Obviously, inside your box you have your contacts and overloads. They're your trips. Uh, they could be tripped, and we'll put that in the manual. Those blue buttons will re reset it. Um, let's go down over here. This is a box over here. This is going to be your vibration setting. So this is your vibration um, controller. Uh, right here, sorry, pointing that out. That's your conveyor controller. This stuff really isn't going to be touched, but it is there just so you know. Um, and then inside here, inside here is your clutch brake power supply. I don't want to this up because you got stuff up here, but um, in there is your clutch brake power supply and a couple of relays uh, and your PLC. Up here is your clutch brake. I think you guys are really familiar with these heads, obviously, but um, you take that off to get to the clutch or the gear reducer in the motor, and then you have your quick release clamps. Um, and then in the manual, of course, we're going to show you how to do all the tooling. Tooling's not on here right now, but that's we will show you that. So that's pretty much it. Um, pretty brief explanation, but give us a call if you have any questions at 610-466-1440.